one hand, a captain beaten by the world. On the other, his rival, haunted and mutinous. In a fort besieged by vengeful spectres. Behind all the shit, there's something else. Something darker. Could be worse. Could be underground. Vanishes. May I have a word? Helen, something wrong? Apologies for disturbing your rest. I'm afraid it can't wait. What did you think of the captain? I saw an officer alone. A proud man turned to stone, perhaps by years of war. I saw a broken man. I did not see the tyrant you described. Inaction is tyranny. He will not act, but nor will he get the hell out of the way. I do not disagree, but the captain needs help. I too was a soldier, broken and haunted. With Antea's help, I recovered. Pennington may need the same. Leave Pennington to me. The good folk of the fort need your help. You are banishers. The dead, you'll have noticed, hammer at the gates. I would like you to go into the mines and find out what enrages them so. I would like you to do what the captain will not. And while we deal with the hordes of angry spectres, what shall you be doing? When the mines are purged, I'll oust Pennington. How goes it with Sebastian? I'm not sure. I had never let go of my grief. I was bereft empty. His absence gave me substance. I clung to it. Useless, really. My husband died in the dark with nothing but my handkerchief to soothe his last moments. And now, he's back. If each worthwhile thing in life is to be lived, and then when it is gone, to be grieved, then what now? I have to believe our love is enough. Love is hard work. We are bound to grieve all the different versions of ourselves. And theirs. I try to hold him and cannot. It taunts me. It was almost easier when he was gone. All things are fleeting. Gaze upon the ghost you love and you can't deny it. Bitter though the thought may be. Yes, tis a blessing and a curse. 
Yet against all reason, we persist. Let us make the most of time remaining. Is it your belief that Pennington's quarantine lies at the heart of the problem here? That this is why the dead rage so? What else? He walled them in. Miners, nurses, soldiers, the healthy or the sick, he buried them all, and then he lied about it. I'll brook his callous cowardice no more. Much goes on around here, and you seem to know about all of it. I try, and I could do something about it if the captain was out of the way. What brought you to New Eden? I came with Sebastian. Willingly, mind you. My father was a soldier. I knew there'd be travel. Sebastian courted me for three years. I swore when we married I'd follow him to the end of the earth. And here we are. How's morale about the fort? The fort has known better days. Not many, mind. It's always been miserable. Folk deserve better. They fought so hard and lost so much. The captain must show them a future. Where do we go? There is a second tunnel into the mines. The entryway was walled shut during the quarantine. Getting there will not be easy, but the barricade should fall without too much difficulty. After that, who knows? Underground again. Wonderful. If it soothes you, I too am taking a significant risk. The captain has a penchant for locking people up and leaving them to rot. Some years ago in New Eden Town, the captain locked up an innocent woman. A fate I wish to avoid. We should go. Then it's agreed. When you're ready, you'll investigate the mines. Take the hoist to the waterfall near the outpost you first found me. From there, it is not far to the tunnel. Keep your wits and all your luck about you. An innocent woman jailed. I mean... As wolf belts go, Strange. it's pretty. Captain Morgan strike me enough as a of petty them. tyrant. Helen is shot right. Wolf belt. The truth lies down there, somewhere. This is no coincidence. This all connects back to the curse.
shouldn't stay in there. Not gonna ask for help? What a beautiful view. Every morning I wake to a better one. You try to charm me, lady. I'll warn you. It should definitely work. These body parts screen manifest my spectre. This isn't over yet. Watch out. Spectre position. Vanishes. I see you found your way. Sebastian, what are you doing here?
difficult though it be to walk these dark tunnels, I'll guide you as best I can. Thank you. When you're searching for the source of the wrath of the hordes of the dead, it's nice to bring a friend. I fear their anger justified. This place knows much tragedy. Pennington did a great and terrible thing. Your death must feel like an outrage. I am a soldier. I took the shilling. Death is part of the bargain. One dies, so many may live. I served the sick and the dying. When my turn came, I was ready. But now, in the fort, there is no noble sacrifice. One dies, so all may also die. Tell us a little more about Helen. Now, I'm not sure what more I can tell you. My wife is a strong woman. What you see, is what you get. Every day I feel blessed to have a partner and best friend by my side. I had never expected her. When she came into my life, I came home to myself. It made me want to be a better man. Oh, I know the feeling. She gave me a handkerchief. I died clutching it. A symbol of our love. She was and is ever in my thoughts. She is my world, now until the end. What shall we find down there? The rage of the Forsaken. They trusted him. He betrayed them. He abandoned them. I doubt they can be placated. We'll be seeing you. Very good. Whenever you're ready. I was enjoying this wee promenade. Everything all right? Let's just get this over with. Shall we? Pennington ordered the barricades fast. I barely had time to bid Helen farewell. That must have been hard. A soldier is called to sacrifice.
log after being startled by a wisp in Akashus. Never gonna let me live that one down, are you? Sickness or thirst died of despair. I'm sorry. As am I. Soon Pennington shall be too. These tunnels go surprisingly deep. In its heyday, it was quite the operation. You see this lift? It goes all the way down. Cart upon cart rose to the surface, piled high with ore. What's over here? More tunnels blocked off. More death in the dark. <sighs> Ghostly voices stay in this place. I told Gray the tunnels were hellish hot. But Wilson says he can't do much about it. Keep feeding the furnace, says he, if you want your meager pay. <laughs> that sounds nasty. You all right? Wouldn't fancy working here with the furnaces running. The work men did here was meant to make New Eden rich.
There's a strong spectral presence down there. A lot of us died down here. What the hell was that? Uh oh. They're coming. Did we miss a few? On your toes, Scotsman. Get back up. Not gonna make this easy for me. You're done. Nice of you to join us, Sebastian. Care to explain what the hell we just heard? I... I can't. What now? Uh, I say we push past the blockade. <clears throat> Follow me, please. Remember the wicked will I felt earlier? The same spell is upon this. We should find that ritual Seeker told us about. I've kept her notes about the hut location. Did the miners abandon their work when sickness hit? They worked till they could work no more. Enough powder to kill us all. Enough powder to kill you, you mean? Aye. Enough powder to kill me too. What's this? A makeshift checkpoint. The halfway mark. Are they expecting to face a regiment? In a way. We knew the dying and trying to find them. We had to keep them from infecting the rest. Charming. I can't blame a man for wanting to make it home alive.
Why would Pennington cut off the food? He decided we weren't worth saving. Damn him to hell for it. It was enough for a spectacular rage. Press on. The living quarters are ahead. If you insist. Think you could take on a ghost? Someone's left us a fire camp to use. Harsh rules, Sebastian. Yours? I regret the necessity. You said you were a bystander, yet you wrote reports to Pennington? I hoped if he knew what was happening, he'd do something. 